York County Courthouse. A decision on a statue critics were calling offensive and should be taken down. Local 10 News investigator Bob Norman first brought us this controversy and he joins us now with the verdict. Segregation is something that we know has not been tolerated well in our history and it's something that was very divisive and it was very painful. It was a painful time for America. Broward Mayor Barbara Sharif is talking about beliefs held by former governor and Broward County namesake Napoleon Bonaparte Broward. And it's those beliefs that have led to a decision by officials to remove Broward statue from the county courthouse. Because Broward County is such an inclusive community, we felt like, fine, we can remove the statue. Sharif said the decision to remove the statue was made by county and courthouse officials after I first informed her of the controversy for a story we broke two weeks ago. But it's a monument of divisiveness. Attorney Harold Pryor, president of the T.J. Reddick Black Bar Association, told us the statue had no place in the courthouse because Broward, in a speech given 40 years after the Civil War, wrote that all black people should be removed from America and given a country of their own. Broward public defender Howard Finkelstein and other officials agreed with Pryor. Here we have an individual that believed in a separatist nation, one for black people, one for white people. With the statue going, is the county's name next. At this point in time, we haven't given any discussion to that. The people who had requested for the statue to be removed have not requested that either. The mayor said the statue is going to be removed in about two weeks and placed in the storage. After that, nobody knows what's going to happen to it. Some officials have said it should be placed in a museum or a library. In the video report, I'm Bob Norman. Local 10 News. All right, Bob, thank you. And we also learned the mayor said any move to change the county's name would be extremely difficult, but it would ultimately be, quote, up to the will of the people.